What is the worst reason someone has used to reject you? Finally something I can answer. I had a girl reject me say I can't date you because what if we go on a date to somewhere with stairs. I'm in a wheelchair. They see me rolling. They hat in. I got the privilege of being the see if I could do this relationship after a divorce. After doing the whole meet the family. Talk about moving in. Blah blah blah. Go out to dinner one night. They drop to the effect of thanks for giving me the confidence to know that I can put myself out there again. As they explained it, they just needed to know if they could even go through the motions of a relationship. Well at least you probably have a clue why they are divorced. In first grade my crush was asking around if someone could tie his shoes because I guess he didn't know how to. To me wanting to tie his shoes and maybe talk to him said I'll tie your shoes. And then he just said these shoes are a different tie. One stupid reason. And one broken heart at 6 year old. You dodge a bullet. Dude couldn't even tie his own shoe. A guy who brought me to a coffee shop under the guise of a date and broke it off after we'd sat there for an hour talking about a movie he suggested I watch and told me he didn't think I could handle his anxiety. Turns out his anxiety was really another girl he was dating at the same time as me. I'd have just preferred the truth. People try so hard to not hurt each other's feelings or not feeling like a villain they straight up forget the plain truth can be easier to process and move on from. I have lupus and the guy said I don't want you to die before I do. He then proceeded to go for the sea kid with multiple DUIs. My ex would cancel plans at the last minute and explain in great detail it was so that I'd be disappointed, which would make her feel guilty, which would in turn make the guilt a form of self-punishment for disappointing me in the first place, and also so that we wouldn't do the thing she wanted to do, which would make her disappointed by that fact as a further form of self-punishment for causing the disappointment, all of which would mean that I had inflicted negative emotions on her. That is, the guilt and disappointment, so that she could be angry about the whole thing. Mercifully that particular relationship didn't last too long. I'll give her mental gymnastics routine 9 stroke 10. Told me she's always on the go. What the heck does that even mean? You go to the same school as me. Where are you going? Well judging by your username I would say outside. My roommate's cat is really sick and needs to go to the vet. Can you take me home? I've got the only car in the house. One week later. Hey, how's the cat doing? Comma what cat? If you're gonna lie, at least remember it for a week. I was on a really awkward coffee date. I had already mentioned I was heading to my parents place for dinner that evening. A couple hours after the start. Maybe an hour into the date. I just wanted out. I mentioned I was gonna head to my parents then instead. And when he asked so early, I told him I wanted to play with their dog. Not my finest moment, but that date was going awfully bad. I'm really into you, but I still think I want to be with my boyfriend for a few more months. But when he goes back to Pennsylvania, we can start going out. B I'm not a TV dinner, you can't pop me in the freezer and think I'll be ready to heat up when you're ready for me. She was totally trying to keep you on her hook. Chick told me she couldn't date someone with as serious mommy issues as I did. My mommy issues was that she had died 2 months earlier. Yikes. My parents found out you black hangs up. I was in 9th grade when this happened. We had been talking on the phone and texting for half of that year before he dropped this bomb on me. I ended up moving away. Further south. And he called me out of the blue once we both moved out of our parents house and into college dorms. Stupid me was reasoning with myself maybe moving out has broadened his horizons. Not even two minutes into the call he began laughing asking why I sound like a black girl, and started mocking me. I've always received the exact opposite response. Whoa, you talk so proper, or you sound like a white girl. So yes, indeed, they did me a favor, but it hurt nonetheless. This was in 2012. That's a big oof. He told me it was weird dating someone so much younger, especially since I was just one year older than his little brother. This was lame, because he was only two years older than me. We were in high school. It was also a lie, because he later dated my best friend who was, admittedly, older than me. But only by 10 hours and 2 minutes, we had the same exact birthday. 
I broke up with someone because they were too young. I was 24 and she was 19 turning 20 in a month. We woke up one morning and she asked me if it was weird sleeping with someone the same age as my sister. I said well now it is. Compound that statement with a general immaturity and we weren't meant for each other. I don't speak English with a French accent so I wasn't as exotic as they thought I would be. English isn't my first language but neither is French so I was quite confused. I have a friend that asked her crush to prom and he said nah I have better things to do. She came up with an elaborate idea too. It was really sad. I felt like I was with a child because I have dwarfism. I don't blame her at all for feeling that way, and it's a totally justified reason to not feel attraction towards me, but frick did that do a number on my self esteem. When I was 14 my best friend wrote me a 2 page breakup letter. In the letter she explained that she needed to improve her social standing and that she couldn't do that and still be associated with me. She outlined her 14 step plan to become popular and apparently step 3 was to cut ties with all her unpopular or weird friends. I only read a few lines before I gave it back and told her she was a moron, that it was a stupid plan and that she could do all that and still be unpopular. She just smiled sadly and wished me well in life, unfriended me from everything and refused to even look at me for 2 months. Well eventually she realized her plan was balls and that her relationship with the popular kids actually got worse because of it, sort of like the end half of Mean Girls, and came crawling back. I like to think I handled that whole situation with maturity and grace but it really messed me up for a while and it's still one of the most hurtful things a person has ever done to me. You're a great woman and I know you'll make someone the happiest man on earth someday, but I also know that man is not me. Um, he wised up. We'll have been married 13 years this September. Classy line. Said this almost verbatim to my wife too. Even suggested she start dating a more mature friend of mine. She was an idiot for marrying me. Married 5 years now. I like you. I just can't handle your gay side. After she had outed me to my entire high school for being B, she broke up with me after. That's fricked up. Jeez you trust someone enough to tell them that and then they go and run their mouth about it. No wonder all the B men are hiding. Straight up told I was ugly. I heard your family is full of pieces of crap. I was um fat and at best a 6 when I clean up nice so I can get past any comments on my looks. Everyone has their own tastes. Sucks, but whatever. However being turned down because of my crap family, that I am no way acted like or resembled, still hurt because I had no control over it. Not justifying it, but part of the reason my ex and I broke up is because her mom was batshit crazy, controlling, and abusive and I thought that if we ever got married and had kids I did not want my kids around her. My ex felt differently though. I didn't get a reason. Got ghosted and then found out through a mutual friend that he began dating another girl. He was an abusive but although so in the end, he did me a solid. This was a 6 year relationship btwlol. Honestly getting ghosted out of a 6 year abusive relationship was probably best case scenario there. A lot of less savory ones I can think of. He told me he had been arrested and had his devices taken by police as he was hitting up a 15 year old and her parents reported him. Frick you Alex. I'm not in love with you anymore and want to see other people. We are such good friends though that we should still live together. Have a feeling that last part was because I was the one with both a job and a house. I like you too much. I look at you and think what an amazing mother you would be to our kids and I don't want to be with someone I like that much. I dated a guy that said you're my best friend. Everything about us is perfect. If I had to build my dream woman you would be it. Nothing more, nothing less. But, I don't get butterflies with you. Apparently I cared too much, and it just wasn't fair to him that he couldn't possibly care as much about me as I did for him. Fricked me up a bit, because that's just how I am. But whatever, I care about people and I'm sorry you were threatened by that. Great, then you can go find someone who loves that about you, and cares right back. We're together nearly two years and things were 
I thought, going great when out of the blow she breaks up, giving me the reason that she thought things were getting too serious and might lead to marriage and it concerned her that I wasn't Christian. Let me mention that in all the time we were together, she never went to church, I never witnessed her praying or even saying anything to indicate that she might be religious in any way. I later found out from a friend in common that she eventually hooked up with a very Christian guy who didn't believe in a man going down on a woman. But he expected oral from her. She was complaining to the friend that she missed my skills in that department. I'm generally not a petty person. But I will admit I felt very vindicated when I heard that. Sounds like she didn't think her parents would approve. My sister had a friend break up up with her in 8th grade. The friend said she was embarrassed to hang out with my sister because of my sister's lack of style. You are always wearing Wolf shirts. Why do you always have to wear animal shirts I don't know if there was an underlying reason. But I think this friend got too cool for my sister. It sucked. P.S. My sister is a professional wildlife biologist now. So screw that other girl. Freaking moon moon. A girl I liked quite a bit turned me down for a second date after the first one went pretty well. I asked her why and she didn't really answer the question. I found out later through a mutual friend that it was because I was the same height as her and she wanted to date someone taller. I'm 5 9 inches. I don't want you in my life. It did not hurt as much as it should have, because I had known for quite a while back then that everything was just big freaking mess. I am a dainty eater. Apparently a real man eats a burger and fries. My date thought it unmasculine I order fries a la carte. I just don't want to be in a relationship right now. Then a week later she's dating someone else. Just tell me the truth that you don't want to date me. Hurts a lot less than being lied to like that. A girl once told me that she can't date me because her brother goes to the same school as us. I understood, but then I see her dating some guy a month later who goes to the same school as us. Girl I dated from my church dumped me because it's too tempting to sin around me. This is also the best compliment I've ever gotten. I was above their league. I literally tried asking them out three times and was in love but apparently I was too good for them. Either they have crippling low self esteem or were looking for a nice out. Girl in college told me she didn't want to date me because I hadn't dated anyone before. Made a certain amount of sense to me at the time because she was pretty experienced and I could see her not wanting to feel pressure about being my first for literally everything that goes into dating. It really worried me though. What if all girls thought this? Will no one want to date me because no one wanted to in high school? Have I passed some point of no return I didn't even know existed? Fast forward a few months and we ended up dating after all. Horrible decision. Should have walked away when I had a chance. Freshman year in high school. I admitted to my best. Guy. Friend I had a crush on him. Oh. Number. People will tell me to kill myself. My friends talk to him. He began dating one of them and he said it was because I was fat. I'm overweight now, but at the time I was pretty average. He ended up admitting he liked me. We did not date. Everyone I love and care about is dead. You should move on was used by two different people. Four months apart. The second time really made me reevaluate my taste in romantic partners. A previous boyfriend broke up with me over the phone. Saying he the one he really wanted was my friend C, but she was already married. He married someone else, his fourth wife, within a few months of our breakup. I truly dodge a bullet. Those two are long divorced now too. Me. Hey do you wanna go to the movies sometime? Her. You're who's coming. Me. I was just thinking it could just be us. Her. Comma equals one minutes. Her. Um. She blocked me. I got kicked out of our friend group and she didn't say I word to me for two years. So you're that's my story. I like you but my friends don't have someone and I'd feel guilty leaving them. And then a few days later, literally like three days, on her snapchat story. Why won't anyone ask me or my friends out? Should have asked them all out at once. My feelings for you are too strong and I don't think I could be in a relationship with you because I would start neglecting the other portions of my life. I don't think that's even a fake excuse. 
Sounds like somebody is just truly clueless about being in a relationship but at least wise enough to acknowledge it. It also could mean I'm starting to feel actual guilt about cheating on you. That is, the other portions of their life. I have two from two separate guys I dated. They are not rejections but breakups. The first was your always early on dates hangouts and it makes me feel insecure come off as a bad person for not coming early yes I know. Very stupid. The second guy dropped the usual I'm and butthole and you deserve better so I want you to find someone else. Boy do I wish if someone would break up with me honestly without lying. She had a really nice house. But she was upset that my house was bigger. A different woman was upset because I did not hang the toilet paper the right way. I never pay attention to the way it is hung. It just happened to be the wrong way that particular day. After I saw her reaction, I did not bother to explain myself. Holy crap. The toilet paper question needs to come right after the pets and kid questions. Mostly my weight. Which is totally understandable, but there's a way to say it and not be rude. In the past I used to get guys matching me to just make fun of me colon people can be cruel. Girl I was dating for 2 months spent said 2 months telling me how amazing I was, how unique I was, and that she cared more for me than she thought possible for the amount of time we'd been dating. Dumped me because she wanted to date multiple people and experience dating in general, rather than staying with one guy who cares about her. Still feels bad man. As much as it sucks, at least she was honest with you. It pretty much boiled down to him. I love you. Me. Then can we date him? Well, I actually love multiple people right now. Found out the hard way that he clearly did not have the same definition of love as I did. Not being clingy enough. Admittedly I'm not really a clingy person. But she was so independent and was so slow at messaging back. We dated for a few weeks to be told I'm not clingy enough. She went for my best friend who was the most clingy person I know and she literally destroyed him emotionally. Seeing what had happened I dodged a bullet although I got annoyed and basically forced him to end it as he was so unhappy and kept coming to me in tears. He hasn't been the same since. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.